this color right here it's blue where the hell will i ever wear this What's there to say? This hi guys i'm putsi and welcome back to my channel and for today's video i'm going to do a makeup declutter i'm going to try to get rid of maybe hopefully half of them i don't have like that crazy amount of makeup but if you know this my channel started out as a makeup channel and it's actually quite weird because I'm not the type of person who wear makeup every single day even if I do wear makeup it's usually very basic simple and you know that type of no makeup makeup look more or less like this and now that I'm trying to shift over my content it's just not very realistic of me to have this amount of makeup I mean I don't have a crazy amount of makeup but for someone who rarely use them it's a lot actually if I don't see myself ever reaching for it in the next couple of months that I I need to try to let them go I honestly have some empty bottles jars here in my makeup collection which I don't know why I keep the jar I have to be realistic with myself look at it with you know that KonMari I think that's what it's called KonMari method if things doesn't bring you joy anymore just let them go Don't say it's okay if the first pile is going to be for you know all the empties the almost expired ones just you know all of that piles of makeup that I barely touch or never even use if it's so it's basically new like 80 to 90 percent condition ask my mom if she wants any of them or i don't know if i can really donate them because there's not a lot of place that accept makeup donation here around where i live most of them prefer money or food or you know any of the essentials so instead of donating them maybe i will try to sell them if it's still in good condition and still half full to full and then donate the money instead of donate the makeup because that's not possible for me to do so that's the objective of today so because i can see everything here open like this and because i want to reorganize all of this i'm just going to grab them and bring this over to my rug here and then separate them into different piles i have these things i need to throw out and then things that I can sell here or give to someone else so the first pile we're going to tackle is lipsticks now that we use mask every time we go out I don't think I need this many lipsticks this is dry I'm going to get rid of this also separate them into yes no or maybe pile because i'm still debating over which color i'm going to keep kathleen lights collaboration dream street collection if i'm not mistaken most of these are light on my skin i don't like orange but orange lipstick just for some reason doesn't look good on me realistically speaking i don't think i'm ever gonna use this again so see like i have this color right here it's blue where the hell will i ever wear this by the way this lux lipsticks is actually one of my favorite lipsticks from colourpop especially the velvet blur version or colourpop ultra blooded lip because it looks matte but also very very comfortable unlike ultra matte lipsticks sometimes you don't want to wear something uncomfortable and this is very very comfortable but also very matte another Kathleen lights collaboration i like them but they're a little bit too light for me if i don't wear heavy makeup yeah, i think i'm going to give this to my mom and see if she likes this Would you stay if I, had been honest with you? I have four of the LA girl matte flat finish pigment cloths and it's like seriously one of the driest liquid lipstick you could ever meet now that I have a lot of lipsticks I don't think it's necessary for me to have this but I do love this color though so I you know what I'm gonna keep this and maybe this because I have a lot of 
red lipstick so this is also one of my favorite lipstick the balm mid matte hues in adoring and dedicated and it smells like a chocolate mint it starts to smell a little bit off so maybe i should show this out and it's like really really old already I have a bunch of Colourpop Supernova shadows that I honestly rarely use. You know what? I actually cannot part ways with this. I think I'm just going to hold on to them because they're such unique colors. Okay, I have so many random things and just empty packagings like this. I don't know why I keep them, so throw this. I have a bunch of Colourpop Super Shock shadows in here. Look how fun and colorful they are. I don't think I'm going to get rid of any of them, but I will try to get rid of this, however, because I don't use them. Now, this card right here used to be in this side, but I really want to get rid of this card because it cluttered my room so much. I wanted to free my bedroom a little bit more. Besides, I have a new rug and I don't want to put this on top of that rug. Hopefully, I can get rid of a lot of these things so I can move them over to my makeup bookcase. Thing. <laughs> on top of this i have all of this skincare that i regularly use so i don't need to get rid of any of them now in this middle part is very 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 cluttered i just i know i have a lot of things that needs to be thrown out like all of these are empty bottles okay i can't really get rid of a lot of this stuff See, I have skincare with my eyeshadow. I don't know why. I need to move this Urban Decay Born to Run eyeshadow palette. I honestly never use this, but that's because I didn't go out much. It looks like this. A lot of people said great things about it, so I think I'm going to keep it for now. It has every single color that I need. The very first eyeshadow collaboration from Kathleen Lights with Morphe. Very, very wearable. I use this quite a lot actually, so I think I'm going to keep this. My absolute... Um, it's very dirty. <laughs> Modern Renaissance, one of my most used eyeshadow palette too, so I'm gonna keep this quality, is just amazing. Another ABH palette, I honestly never ever use this. I mean look at that, it's, it's new. Also going to keep this just because I know the quality is going to be amazing. Balm Jovi eyeshadow palette, Ugh, see it's already expired this lipstick already started to smell kind of bad so you know what i think i'm just going to get rid of this urban decay the fun palette actually a really good quality see it's hard for me to get rid of some of these eyeshadows because i actually really like eyeshadows it's not a good start guys never really use them so get rid of this out of matte for matte eyeshadow palette i think if i can open them the matte for matte 2 version full of matte eyeshadows but it's very wearable so i'm gonna keep this and besides it's small this one right here is pretty much brand new revolution in collaboration with soft soft dust life now but she used to be soft dust nails i'm going to keep this now this was actually my very first eyeshadow palette really really old they don't make this anymore they already changed packaging this is like one of my favorite eyeshadow ever but every other color i don't really use so i think i'm just going to finally get rid of this moving on to this pot i have opened this but i never ever touched this so i think i'm going to sell this revolution eyeshadow palette it's like a dupe for another abh palette really love the color combination but a little bit dry i have another eyeshadow palette from makeup revolution it's like very blendable the color combination is really nice and 
just overall the quality is much much better so I'm going to keep this one but I'm going to get rid of this palette from Colourpop I never use this it's full of purple shadows I don't think I should keep these two together I know it's going to be better quality in this one you know what I actually really like the color combination on this palette because it's like way more fun and I don't have a lot of color that looks like them like this excites me more than this one I think I'm going to just sell this and keep this one instead now this one is like a really really fun eyeshadow palette I do like the color a lot I don't think I'm going to use this a lot I'm going to get rid of this these two are like really really colorful very very colorful but it also has a lot of neutral colors in it but I really like color on this one more so I think I'm going to keep this and get rid of this one yes this palette full of warm tones it's just overall a pretty good quality keep this of course I'm going to keep this because I love love this palette I love the packaging I love Kathleen lights another Kathleen lights palette which I do really like the packaging and the color combination so you know what on second thought I think I should get rid of this because I have like two of Kathleen lights collaboration already I think I have all of these colors on other palettes that are actually in better quality in my opinion now this is yet another single shadows that I honestly never really use Blue shadows, another Kathleen Lights collaboration with Colourpop And you know what, I think I'm going to keep all of them Because all of these colors are so unique I forgot that I have this It looks like that one shadow that I like from that Wet n Wild palette Jelly Matte Shadows Actually already like dried a little but I can still use them I mean look at that, that's just like crazy I'm just going to keep this Colourpop Superstar Loose Pigment I never use this I'm going to get rid of this Loose Glitter rarely use them but I don't have any other loose glitter so I'm going to keep them from Jacket. You know what? I think I'm going to get rid of this one right here because it's like really really bright and I don't think I'm going to use this Oops, <laughs> I dropped the brush. It's quite a lot to go through, so I'm just going to go through this very quickly. I wasn't able to get rid of a lot. I managed to reorganize them and keep them only in these two containers, so I save a lot of space at least. I'm not going to get rid of any of these because I am currently liking liquid blushes like this It's just so easy to use and looks way more natural than a regular powder blush These two are from Glossier and this one is like the dupe It's from Flower Beauty Blush Bomb Color Drop With mascara, I'm just going to throw out the one that I have for months or even years See, like I already ran out of this. I don't know why I still keep them. One of my absolute favorite for everyday use, Essence Make Me Brow Gel Mascara. I don't know 
I still keep this packaging. Take a sip, you gon' trip. I think I'm going to sell this one because it's the same as this, but this is just a travel size. I probably will need a travel size if I ever travel to bring with me, but I have this one. This is like the same size. I think I'm just going to keep this because I don't have a full size Mac Fix Plus. See, I also have this travel size of the Urban Decay All Nighter. I'm set with these travel sizes. I still use most of this but I'm just going to go quickly through this because I know there are a couple of them that are already dried. I can still downsize. We're done with the declutter and let me give you a quick tour of the current state and also what we've accomplished. <laughs> On top of the drawer, I can finally fit all of my eyeshadow palettes here. All the essentials, some colorful ones, more neutrals. I feel like I have a good range of colors that I could possibly ever need from eyeshadows all in here and then moving down over here i have all of my lipsticks collection i sized down quite a lot on my lipsticks i used to have four of these things and i also used to have this one right here so i'm not gonna use this i think i'm going to give this to my mom ColourPop Lux lipsticks here, ColourPop liquid shadows all of my liquid lipsticks from ColourPop lipsticks all my other lipsticks from different brands, regular bullet lipsticks, and some minis. Over here, I can finally empty out an extra space for my future books. I think I've said this a couple of times already now. One of my 2021 goals is I want to buy more books and read more. It used to be so empty here, but now it's jam-packed full. So this is the extra space that I need. And down here on the second tier, this one is so random actually, I don't know what to do with this one but at least I know what everything's in here. I have my cotton pads, all of my toners, my makeup remover, lotion and body yogurt back there. I have all of my, see I have all these q-tips that I don't have the case yet. Once I have a place for it, I will move this of course. I have all of my beauty blenders, beauty sponges, all in here. This is like an egg organizer. Down here is so random. I have some medicine and some like leather lotion, baby oils. I have all of my tweezers for nail arts, razors. I also have this for like blackhead extractor thing. I don't know what's the name of it. In the middle here, I have all of my mascaras, brow products, lip liners all my eyeliners back there lip balms in the middle and some eyeshadow primer glitter glue eyelash adhesive and all of that here i have all of my colourpop super shock shadows single shadow and also colourpop jelly match shadows i have to put it like this so i can fit all of them here but i cannot see the color so i have to look through this one by one i have all of my bronzers, some for contouring I think, and all of my highlighters. Here I have all of my blushes. I love all of my liquid blushes. Back there all of my powder blushes. Over here all of my powders. Foundations back there because I use powder way more often than foundation. I have makeup primer, setting sprays back there, and some sports sunscreen that I don't use every single day. Here all of my concealers and this RCMA powder because I cannot put this in my powder piles. My kabuki brush for powder that I use every single day. Here is my... wait, it's a little bit hard to... <laughs> a little bit too tall. All of my skincare. Now this is the last row of my makeup collection because in the bottom row here I have all of my jeans. 
pants, extra bed sheets, extra towel and all of that. In the last row section, I have all of my face brushes back there. Eye brushes, the back there, I don't know if you can see that. Hair brushes, face spray, and then I have all of my daily body mist. And over here, I move my hair tools from here. I feel like it looks better and tidier here. So I have my hair dryer and hair straightener back there. All of my hair care, way, web spray, the ordinary multi peptide serum, the Moroccan argan oil this heat protectant spray over here nail polishes and some nail products two makeup bags that i got from sephora kit and down here all of my bath and body works three week candles and here i finally able to empty out this card i'm so happy with that so i will now try to get this out of my bedroom i have two of these now that i won't use i also have a bunch of random containers finally able to throw out some empty jars like all of these are empty and over here are all my other makeups only been used like three five times some of them even like still pretty much brand new some other extra empties so i know i look a little bit different because i forgot to film an outro so yeah this is me from another day i'm so glad that i was able to get rid of at least 30-40% of my makeup and reorganize my room feels much cleaner and much more spacious now and yeah I hope you enjoyed today's video if you like it don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and lastly I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I hope I can see you in another video bye guys